Brian Wilson, Karen's ex-brother-in-law, who was the creative force behind the Beach Boys, had a serious bout with drugs and was diagnosed as schizophrenic, staying in bed for four years in the early 70s. As talented as Brian is, and as much as I admire him, I really don't think he likes to be in the limelight. I don't think so at all. I just don't think so. I think now, at this point in his life, he'll probably do anything to stay out of it. Dennis, however, loved the limelight. He was a natural ham, just wanting to please people offstage as well as on. Hi. My name is Dennis Wilson. I make rock and roll records. There was a magnetism about him, charisma. He was unpretentious, charming, and had a heart of gold. From all accounts, Dennis was very gentle and unpretentious, but he was also defiant and undisciplined, constantly hunting for pleasure but never finding happiness. His weaknesses set him up for a friendship with Charles Manson, who touted the virtues of free love and drugs. Soon, the Manson family was living in Dennis's Beverly Hills mansion. Dennis was at that point intrigued by um, the lifestyle of many women around him. Free love was psychedelic. It was, um, you know, we were all new to it. It left us incredibly vulnerable. And then it ultimately scared the hell out of him. Soon, even Dennis would see that Manson was dangerous and threw him out a year before the Tate LaBianca murders. But he didn't stop his constant search for pleasure. His womanizing and drinking started putting a strain on his marriage with Karen. Do you mess around? Other women were becoming more apparent. And I mean, I can turn my head so many times, but it's getting a little overwhelming for me. And uh, he also got physical with me, and uh, we, I don't really stand for that. That's a tough one for me to take. Hers was not the only crumbling union. 